Good afternoon folks. We're down here at the moment with the Shropshire sheep. Uh, just giving them a bit of hay. As you can probably see, they're getting well eaten up down here. So the plan is, tomorrow these will hopefully all be coming home, well we'll be bringing them all home. We've got the scanning uh, man coming. He's going to scan them, we'll find out how many lambs they're having. sheep scanning day, you scanning. So we're going to find out how many lambs this lot are carrying. Don't forget folks if you're enjoying our videos please do subscribe, give us a like, let us know what you think in the comments and uh, your support does mean a lot to us. So we've just been and fetched this first lot which are predominantly Kerry's and then some Kerry Shropshire crosses. Uh, I've just been putting the decks in in the trailer and I'm going to go and get the Shropshire's back now uh, and then the, the scanning man is coming in a few hours time hopefully we'll run them through we'll find out how many lambs we've got for, coming in March time Okay, so we're on the way in the trail in the tractor now. We've got the trailer in on rather with the decks in. A few stops to go and get the Shropshires. So there are 36 Shropshires, I think, plus a couple of tops with them. Uh, and we're going to bring them all back. Uh, hopefully, we'll get them all on one load. We don't have to do two loads, that'd be a bit of a pain, but I don't just know because with a big heavy and lamp. Obviously don't want to overcrowd them too much, um, so we'll just see how they go. We have got time to do two trips, if we have to. We haven't actually got a pen down here, and because we've made a temporary pen in the barn with the flakes, uh, that means we haven't got any flakes really to make it a pen in this field like we normally would for loading them up. So the plan is that we get the two dogs out and they will hopefully just, we'll make, we've got a couple of flakes, we'll make a bit of a funnel into the trailer and the two dogs will hopefully just send the, send the sheep straight in, they'll run up, I'll have to just go up and shut up the top deck and then hopefully we can get the second lot to run in the bottom. So the theory goes, we'll see how it works. Um, yeah, then we'll bring them back home, let them settle in the barn for a bit, and the scanning man's coming a bit later, hopefully about six-ish. And we'll get him set up and we'll try and get some video of, uh, of the sheep going through the scanner. And the idea being that by having a look at how many lambs the sheep's carrying, we can separate them out into, into groups. We'll mark each one with a a coloured spray as, as to whether it's what got one, two, three or none. Um, two is ideal, uh, three is a bit of a pain because they usually don't have enough milk for three, uh, and one is a bit of an underutilisation. So, but realistically, a scanning rate of 150% would be good, a bit more would be up great. Uh, so, we'll see how, how we go on. Um, but yeah, like I say, it means that you can split them up into groups and tailor the feed that they get to how many lungs they're carrying and how much, theoretically, how much nutrient they need. Uh, all this is a bit tight. Thank you. Don't look so worried, love.
And then, yeah, also, once you get to lambing time, then you know exactly how many lambs you should be expecting from each sheep. So there's no, what we've always done in the past, because this is the first year we're actually going to have done any scanning. Uh, but what we've always done in the past is we've had to have a sheep have a lamb, and then you're kind of waiting to see if it's going to have another one. Uh, so it's not ideal. You know, you never know whether a, a sheep's just kind of waiting around, just waiting to have another lamb, or whether it's not very well, or whatever. So, hopefully, by knowing how many lambs uh, it's you're supposed to have, it'll allow us to give her better care after she lands, spot any problems sooner, uh, all those good sort of things, as well as the you know feeding them uh, tailored amounts for, for what they're, they're carrying. So. Like I say, it's the first time we've, we've done this. Lots of other people do it, and you know, obviously they they keep doing it year after year. So it would seem to be a good idea. So we're a little bit behind the times with this one, but so be it. We're going to give it a try this year, and hopefully, it brings its benefits. <laughs> scanning. They just run up this race. He has a look at them in that trailer and, and then they get marked whatever colour for what, either one or two. Oh, that one's a bit enthusiastic. So it's about halfway through so far. I need to just load up and get a few more sheep. Come on. Come on, girls. That's it. Like I say, we haven't got a proper, proper pen set up here, so they keep wandering off with all the flakes, which is a bit unfortunate. Come on. But it's quite good with them having a when you can keep them in the, in the race, then it just kind of helps entice them up a little bit. Can you show us what you're looking at on this screen? So, 
there you touch now. So all you do, all you're doing is fanning through the uterus. So that's me pointing. I'm basically pointing at an angle out there, and all you do is fan through the uterus. Yeah. So you cut. But the minute you touch this, yeah, you know she's in, in lamb. The donuts you're seeing is the cotyledons. Okay. That are on the afterbirth. The black fluids, obviously, that's the embryonic fluid. Now there's a. But I already touched this and think there's more than one in here. There's a skull. As you're coming through, you're starting to see something else come in there. So there's another body. There's body, body. And there's the other head. There. Oh, that other sheep. Oh, that other lamb. Oh, no, there's the head. Oh, the head's there. Yeah, two heads side to side. Head, head, body, body. Uh, out yeah. front. Set of twins. That's it. It's easy as that. A bit of all or nothing these sheep. I'm going to pull that one back because he needs to get his hand underneath the sheep where the second one's headed go. Load up with a few more. Come on, the girls. Come on. Sit. There we go, we've got the system working now. Okay, so there we have it, folks. That's the scanning done. Uh, not a bad, not too bad a percentage. Um, I think the overall. The overall scanning figure was brought down a little bit by a couple of sheep that we knew were going to be barren. Um, but notice that the rest of them coming out at 160%, quite pleased with that. That's a reasonable figure. Um, and apparently, that's roughly what the, the kind of average has been this year. Uh, there's been ones who obviously do very well, but generally, they've been coming out about that. So it's obviously the following morning now, um, but we left the sheep in the paddock at home overnight, and we've just been sorting them out this morning. So I've got all the all the singles in the trailer here, and I'm going to drop them out in this field. Uh, I've already taken the the twins and triplets to another field. And there's trees in there. The trees got a bit overgrown. Um, so this is a nice big field, it's about 30 acres here, um, so there's plenty for them for singles. Uh, we don't, we'll not give them as much extra feed here, but there's plenty of grass for them to go at. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.